Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a weekend this game was. Premier League team of the season has taken this game to a whole new level in multiple ways, guys. Store packs going crazy, good SBCs that are worth completing, and upgrade packs, which today we hope to get the upgrade packs that change this game. They're the ones that we look forward to every single year during the leagues of team of the season, and they're going to allow us to get open in packs and have a really good shot at packing these team of the season cards in this game today. So that is what I want to talk about in today's video and what else is going on in this game on a Monday in FC24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we go Monday, let's look back yesterday at Sunday, which was a good day, but not as maybe crazy, I guess you would say, as the previous two days in the weekend, Friday and Saturday. But let's talk about Sunday with this Konate SBC. Guys, I mentioned a player SBC in yesterday's video expecting for one to come out and we did get one. I completely forgot that we had a Konate leak. That one slipped my mind. But what a card that we have been given here. Medium high six foot four bruiser block plus and aerial plus on this card. He looks like an absolute beast. I don't know how else to describe this card except for a beast or a bully. He has 99 strength with Bruiser Plus. Is anybody going to be able to push him off of the ball? Like, I don't think anybody's going to be able to. He is just an absolute beast in defense. My question is, is he worth the craft? With all the other good SBCs that we've had for center backs and the players that we have in packs right now for center backs, is he worth the craft? And I'm going to have to imagine that he is going to be the price here is okay it's 600,000 coins i think if this car was on the market he would be less than 600k i mean look at saliba right saliba is now 600 something thousand coins on the market because his price dropped off a bunch because of this sbc coming out yesterday for Kalnate. take a look at saliba's price from 800k down to 625 he's now in the 650 range like this card statistically is yes a little bit better than Konate, but not that far off. They both have 88 pace. He's got plus one defending. He's got less physical, and he does have better passing, and he's 3-3 as well, but he has Anticipate Plus, right? Anticipate Plus is always a chem style that I look for, or a play style on a card that I look for, and Konate has Anticipate, but um, yeah, guys, I think this is an SBC, especially with the upgrade packs that we are hoping to get this week. It seems just very, very craftable, and it's also very well received. I haven't used Konate in this year's game. I don't know if any of you guys use the fantasy version or not, but if you use this card, maybe you can shed some light on how good he is. I just can't imagine um, that he's like going to be able to be pushed off the ball by anybody else with these playstyle pluses that he has. So I think it's the Konate, the links with the French links as well, that is really bringing a lot of high to this SBC and yeah it's only six squads I say only six squads right think about it this SBC is probably a little more expensive than what this Konate card would be on the market in my opinion but it's because EA knows that all of us are sitting on a ton of fodder from opening a bunch of saved up packs or opening those store packs over the weekend like the 750,000 coin pack with coins with FC points right I just noticed I did not know he had 98 short pass and 97 long pass Okay, that's insane. 97 reactions as well to go along with insane defending stats. He even has the relentless playstyle and rapid. Okay, yeah, I might be I might be sold on this card. I'm gonna have to, you know, watch a little inception review or something and see how good the card is, but that might be an SBC with crafting. And it actually, you know, it kind of just fits. Like all the player SBCs we've had so far during Prem Team of the Season, Odegaard, insane, awesome SBC. I'm gonna have to get that one done. The Kai Havertz, that was great. Konate, that's great as well. Julian Alvarez, you know, he's pretty decent. The player SBCs have been um really, really good. And I think that Konate kind of continues that trend. I mean, for me, not knowing how I'm gonna like this Konate card, it seems like everybody else is already liking him. If you take a look at prices on the game, well, first of all, the card's upvoted a bunch. The SBC is 84% thumbs up on Footbin, and you can just go tell by going and looking at the market that people want this SBC and they're getting it done right. Varane went from 850,000 coins yesterday to under 600k. Now he did just rebound, right? Because he's a rare card, he's out of packs, and of course, people are gonna want to use Varane. This dude was down. 300k almost from 880 down to 580 and now he's back up to 660 but look that drop Cordoba who's not even Premier League right as a hero card went from yesterday right around 500,000 coins all the way down to 
400k, even under 400,000 coins. Center backs on this game are absolutely mudded because of this Konate card. It's kind of crazy how many people are doing that SBC, but it makes sense because the card does look really, really in same but i think it's just slightly pricey but i think it's also very craftable with the 84 7 player picks and those upgrade packs we're looking to see today on this game let's talk about the other sbc that we had yesterday the 90 plus encore icon player pick now technically yesterday was a quieter day in terms of team of the season content release stuff because there was only two sbcs released instead of like five the past couple of days that we had had 87 88 and 89 rated squads they only allow you to put a team of the week in this 88 rated squad why is ea in some sbcs like konate allowing you to put in an any tots or a team of the week player like you can see here any tots or team of the week player multiple times in that konate sbc but still only inside of this 90 plus player pick they only allow you to do regular team of the weeks that is annoying i don't know to me that's very annoying it's definitely something i think where they're trying to drain coins off of the market and uh devalue some things and make people try to want to go open more of those packs in the store to get coins because they're needing coins to go do sbcs informs are even up further forty-two thousand coins basically insta selling for all informs it is crazy it is crazy that informs are this high but really, it must be because EA want to drain coins. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is Team of the Season cards actually went up yesterday as well. I think the cheapest Team of the Season card on the market right now um, is up like 3,000 coins. The 91, or sorry, not the 91. I believe it was the 90 rated. Yes, the 90 rated Team of the Seasons like Dewsbury Hall and Bonza. These cards went up yesterday. They were like 18,000 coins, and right now they're chilling almost at 22K. I don't know about, like, let's look up Cucho Hernandez really quick here because he is one of the cheapest uh, Team of the Week cards. Uh, let's just go Cucho Hernandez. If I can... Hernandez, can I search Footbin? All right, Footbin's not letting me search. So I don't know if he's one of the cheapest 88s or not. 88s are up, but uh, let's try Dryer really fast because I can search his name, right? I don't know why I was not letting me search Cucho Hernandez. Let me see, did this car go up yesterday? I think it did. 15,000 coins up to 17 to 18K. So up a little bit. Um, and I think that's just because of the SBC demand that we have for those cards like Konate and uh, then the 90 plus icon player pick. And But other was, others that are just requiring team of the seasons or team of the weeks, you're starting to see those kind of slightly go up because people are crafting. Now, other side of things in terms of the fodder game here. GG's, like we already started to mention, G freaking G's if you bought 88's. I know we shouted like 86's to 88's. I think 88's did the best. These cards were legit 7,000 coins Friday night. Even under 8K was a decent price. We said there are 11,000 coins on this game, all because of the content that was dropped yesterday. There were 12K yesterday. If I had fodder, I would not be in a hurry to sell it. I would not be. I mean, I think you have it today, maybe even tomorrow, to think about selling some of that fodder if you want to get out of it soon, or you could even wait until like next week, and it could potentially go even higher with more SBCs being released with another league of team of the season, and probably less safe packs open and more people having to go to the market to buy fodder, but the safe route were to be take the coins on that fodder between the next two days. Be lazing it, listing it for the 85s, 6s, all the way up to the 88s, even 89s. 23k those were 19,000 coins the weekend i think 90s as well like 90 rated gold cards are going up on the market as well as people are doing sbc so fodder is definitely up and the market definitely did take some hits in terms of prices on this game because of all of the content that we did had yet uh, have yesterday i did a couple flips right you saw in the video i was trying to buy rice and Saka. i ended up not selling Saka at a great time but i wasn't able to pay attention to the market much yesterday i made enough coins though between one cole palmer snipe and this declan rice i made about 200 250 000 coins between those two cards and it covered the tax losses on some of these other ones um so i probably made like 30 or 40k out of these five cards whereas i would have liked to make if i would have timed things per uh, perfectly i could have made like 400k but it is neither here nor there we take the positive coin movement we hit 11 mil for the very first time and it's time for me to open a 750 000 coin pack we will do that um, on the stream today but back to what i was originally starting to say the content yesterday uh really hurt the market in more areas than just the prem team of season cards and i do want to look at the prem cards here just now for a second as i have three player picks to craft because i forgot that i had these 
built up. Okay, those were cheeks, and I even have a duplicate. Let's look at these Prem Tots cards and their prices because I'm looking at cards right now. Like again, I sold uh, Declan Rice for 1.6 million literally 24 hours ago. He's 1.39. Cole Palmer I sold for 1.3 million. He's 1.1. These Premier League Tots prices are just crazy, man. It's got to be that 750k pack in the store that people are opening that is continuing to hurt these prices. And then, of course, you just get towards the end of the weekend. The natural fluctuation of cards being in packs is they drop, right? But like Phil Foden was 2.4 for most of the day yesterday, and now he's 2.1. That's crazy. Hyunmin Sun is 1.2 million coins. I'm still surprised when I look at the rest of this market and prices. Like, some cards aren't down more than they are. Like, this Hyunmin Sun, this guy, this card is tanking. With the new Tot Sun only being a million, 1.2 mil, this card's gone from 900k. He went to 715,000 coins yesterday before bouncing back up a bit. It is starting to hurt the market. I just think it's going to continue to hurt the market in many areas. Like... How is this Jorginho still 2.7? That's down, but like, how is Pushkas 2.7 when you have all of these insane Tots cards as cheap as they are in packs right now? I'm surprised that the rest of the market isn't crashing more than it is because these Tots cards are so affordable. And of course, they have all the hype in the world right now in this game. They have three playstyle pluses. The stats that EA are putting on these cards, uh, they're juiced. Like, if I can snag myself a Foden here for close to 2 million coins, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I think this card could be back to 2.3. Might be able to make some coins off of that into a quick flip today. But guys, like, it's just, it's crazy. I know the price has dropped off on some of these yesterday and... I'm not saying and sitting here that I expect all of these TOTS cards to rise up today. I really am not expecting that at all. All I'm saying is there is so much hype for these Premier League team and season cards. People are going to wake up today on Monday and want to go out and use them. Today's a big upgrade pack day, though. It's not going to supply these cards tradable, but it's going to kind of transition the hype from the weekend and maybe the most weekend league demand for the cards. And it's going to transition that into the upgrade packs situation so i would be a little more careful i don't think i'm gonna buy many of these cards i don't expect to see a ton of their prices rebounding up today i could see them staying around the same level maybe dropping off a little bit into tomorrow and then maybe by the time we get to tuesday and wednesday if you're looking to buy one of these for your team i'm looking at tuesday wednesday as maybe one of the times to get in to have them for the next couple of days. Again, even with these Prem Tots cards, I wouldn't expect to hold on to them for very long. But that's gonna be gonna be something that we follow through the rest of this week very carefully. Cause I know some of you guys are like, Nate, I just want to buy Foden for my team. When do I need to pick him up to get the best price possible? Potentially make some coins or really just good a good price so i don't lose as many coins in the long term i want to help you guys do that i don't think the buy time is right now just yet that 750k pack is still in the store so it's still bringing some supply out and today's a big day for people to try to pack those cards again so some of them could rebound today like i just mentioned with the foden but i think i would be very careful and i'm not going to go put a ton of coins into that today just because i think yeah, I think there's there's not a bunch of market movement upwards going to happen. I think it'll be just a kind of chill Monday. But let's talk about Monday today because it is a big day, right? It's the upgrade packs that we look forward to every single year. I know I just did 80 plus player picks. You're like, Nate, we have player picks. What else do we need? Now, we want to pack blues and have the best opportunity to pack these team of the season cards from the league specific upgrades. That is is what we are looking for it would if it would load this nice screen loading ea sports news why is it taking so long to load this there we go thank you we want to pack these cards today right and there's a pack that i think that is going to be dropping that we expect to drop we've already seen it yet this year so it's not like we've been looking for a new pack code to be added to the back end of the game for us to be like oh my goodness there's the packs that are coming it's already here it's already in the game because we've opened these sbcs a lot already during team of the year, but it's going to hit way different now that there's so many cards in packs from the Premier League Tots and the Women's Super League Tots. Yes, I'm talking about the league specific upgrades, guys. Premium and the regular, right? Remember these SBCs? Yeah, they were during team of the year. They're very cheap to complete. All you have to have is 11 gold rare players. And you're like, Nate, is that worth it? Yes. Once again, these packs give you a squad of 11 players. So you turn in 11 gold rares. You get 11 golds back. Only four of them are rare. But 
again, you're giving yourself that chance of a very small player pool of just the Premier League and the Women's Super League players instead of including all the other gold cards in this game, giving you an increased chance of packing the team of the season cards. And these are the upgrades that I have had so much fun ripping endlessly throughout the weeks of team of the season every single week of this promo each and every year number one it's a great time to be opening these packs because of course you have the chance of packing premier league team of the season cards number two premier league has some of the highest rated and some of the most highest rated cards that are just even golds in this game you're going to be packing fodder from these packs you're going to be able to go and craft sbc's um, and have a chance at packing team of the season cards at the very same time. That's why it's such a great combination. The crafting on the menus is going to be so hype. Now, you might be asking, Nate, do I need to invest in gold rares for this occurrence and this occasion? I don't honestly think you do. Like, if you want to stock gold rares in your club just so that when the SBCs hopefully come out today, you'll have the opportunity to go and just build a bunch of them right away, sure, go ahead and do that to save yourself some time and prepare ahead of time but do i think that gold cards are actually going to go up for this sbc being dropped today honestly guys i don't think so it used to be in years past that golds would go from like 700 coins up to like a thousand 1.2 1.3 k per gold rare because so many people were doing these upgrade sbcs especially during like league one team of the season right um, I don't think they're going to go up that much, guys. With the amount of supply that we have in this game, I would be surprised if gold rares even go above 800 coins. That's just how this game is. During Team of the Year this year, gold rares, I don't even know if they moved above like 750 or 800 coins per gold rare. During Team of the Year, I can't imagine that it's going to get even higher than that or even move at all during team of the season. So that is one thing I wanted to mention. Also, you might be wondering, do I have to buy Premier League gold rares to do this SBC? You do not. Any gold rare should work. Um, again, it's been the same requirement for these SBCs for like ages, and we're just expecting EA to put that out again today because those are the league-specific SBCs that we come to expect every single year and that we all want to hit. Now, you're also like, Nate, the 80-plus player pick is going away today. Are we going to get the 81-plus to replace it? And fingers crossed, yes, because we need still an 80 or 81-plus player pick to be out to use alongside of this upgrade pack. Now, if this upgrade pack drops today and a player pick drops today, which one should you do? You should use the gold rares and turn them into this. You're going to get seven commons and four rares back from that pack. You're going to turn in those rares that you don't need. Maybe there's fodder cards, right? If you're 82s and above, you're going to go into the team and league player picks. The commons and then your one-off rare are going to go, boom, straight back in to an 80 or an 81 plus player pick. And then you're going to be able to pack more higher rated cards and all of the team of the seasons, including the mixed league players that you can't pack from those Barclays and Premier League Tots upgrade specific packs. So that's where I think the menu craft would be at its best today on this game. So as before we even get that content, that's kind of what I'm expecting. You do the league upgrade, you craft it into player picks, and then from there, do your 84 sevens, do your 83 times seven, do your team league player picks, and then with your higher rated fodder that you get that's left over, craft your player SBCs, your icon picks if you're going to be sending those. Um, or whatever it may be. That's what I'm hoping for today. But guys, those league-specific packs, again, I know you're like, Nate, am I really going to have a chance to pack Holland? It's going to be slim, right? But you'll still have a chance at packing plenty of these Premier League cards, and it's just the player pool being constricted down to just the Premier League and the Women's Super League in those upgrades that makes them so much good um so much good potential honestly i don't know how else to say it. it's just the potential is very very good for you to pack blues the drop weight will be better than team of the year so i know that we see a team of the year upgrade pack and we're like no ptsd but it's different guys it's different right we've already seen that tots is different it's going to continue to be different when hopefully these SBCs drop today. I mean, I'm expecting them 100% to drop today, but you never know with EA Sports. We always have to leave that little bit of doubt because you never know what could be happening. Now, I also already mentioned that what else for today on Monday? 81 plus player pick. I'm expecting that. Remember how we've had the 83 plus player picks that have been out as well? I have not done a single one of the 83 plus player picks that came out last week, but... That could be an SBC that refreshes today, or which I hope we get, 
the upgraded version of that, the 85 plus player pick. Imagine an 81 and an 85 plus player pick coming today. That would be phenomenal. That would give us so many crafting opportunities to pack blues. And that would really kind of set this week off on a really good note for grinding in the menus, crafting, and uh, kind of being in control ourselves of the best chance that we have to pack team of the season players but other than the upgrade stuff today i don't know if we're gonna get that much else mondays have been very quiet as of late a lot like last monday remember we had a showdown sbc and we were just thinking ea hello this is team of the season live promo why are we getting showdowns during that so we could get a player SBC today. If we were to get one, I would imagine it would be a women's super league player or it would be um, a mixed league team of the season item. Um, probably just a regular team of the season card. That's one thing I would maybe shout, but there are no leaks at this time from what I've seen um, of a new team of the season SBC to be released. Also, speaking of SBCs, I had to just mention this for a second. If you're thinking about doing the 90 plus, uh, encore icon pick unless you're opening a store pack and you have like crazy tons metric tons of fodder i don't think this is worth doing guys unless your primary goal in this game is to try to hit like a future stars dino or like a team of the year r9 or mia ham or something i don't think this spc is worth doing because there's just so many great player species that are available right now. Do those first before you think about doing a very gamble. And I've heard not so great of luck. I uh, Encore Icon player pick there. That's just one thing I had to throw on here um, at the end. And the next question I'm going to ask is because we're going to ask this every single day until we actually see something happen. Where's our upgrades EA Sports? We're getting curious. We are wondering. Havertz, of course, with the North London Derby win yesterday. Spurs had to make it close 3-2, but that was one goal that he needed to get to the 94 rating. This card has achieved both upgrade spots. They've got the two wins and they've got the eight goals. This card should be 94 rated. My question is, when is that happening? I know you all are wondering the same thing. And for the other live cards as well, when is that happening? We don't know the answer, but we're hoping that that is coming very, very soon. And other than that, we still have that Evo that we looked at in yesterday's video that is potentially um, a piece of content that could be coming soon because we have no leaks or news on other Evos other than that one. So that one still could be coming. And speaking of other upgrades, um, the Alex Light Leia from the Women's Man City team, she's getting upgraded. Doku, Bisek, Santos, Modric. There are plenty of upgrades that are due. Now, I sold all the live cards that I had um, just because, I don't know, man. I think the real team of the seasons kind of trump these cards in terms of the hype. But, um, yeah, I'm not invested in any of these as of right now. Basically, I'm almost 100% liquid besides some just random gold cards in my transfer list. Um, with the coins that we have right now. But it's time to send these coins into upgrade packs. It's time to get this team of the season counter up even further. And it's the upgrade packs today that we hope will do that for us. So if you're excited for Monday upgrade packs and the grind that could be set before us this week in this game, drop a thumbs up on the video. Good luck in your champs. Let me know. I've been tweeting, been tweeted some of you guys' champs rewards and some really good polls over the past couple of days over the weekend as it was really, really busy for me. I love to see people tweeting me random Hyunmin Suns from 83 times two packs uh, or, you know, like weekend league reward red picks or, you know, just stuff like I love it. So keep those coming in on Twitter. My Twitter link is down below in the description. And uh, always update me on the good polls that you guys have. But today's a big day for upgrade packs. Hopefully, EA give us the juice and surprise us with something along the way. So if you enjoyed today's video, again, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in a Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan Good Count. See you guys there. Peace out.